What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Jane Nichelle. And you are now tapped into Flavor Fridays. Get into it. Yeah. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your girl, Jane Nichelle. You are tapped into part two of A Dose of Flavor. Thank everyone who tapped in for part one. And if you haven't already, you sleep on your girl. You need to wake up. And get into it, y'all. A dose of flavor. Your girl, Jay Nichelle, we in the building. So y'all know how we like to get started on a positive note. We got our quote today. I'm going to pull that up real quick for y'all. How's everybody feeling out there? If you are listening to me on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know you are in this thing. Where you from? Where you listening from? Join in on the conversation. Feel free to tap in and put your comments below on anything we talk about today. I want it to be interactive. All right. I want to talk to y'all. That's why I'm here. All right. You don't have to be somebody different to be important. You're important in your own right. That is from my girl, Michelle Obama. Y'all know we want to start off on a positive note, expanding our mental and our mind and, and uh, mental stability and mental health, that's important, y'all. We, we want to protect our mental. So on today's show, the topic is falling out. I want to talk about, you know, when you fall out with people that you love and people that you care about and, and, and what that looks like and, and how y'all, how do y'all handle that? You know, when you fall out with your family or when you fall out with your friends and, you know, things like that, how you handle that. But it really comes from a clip I was watching, Married to Medicine, the reunion. I uh, love Married to Medicine. I, I kind of got tapped into that late. But I was watching the, the reunion part two, and they were kind of talking about Dr. Uh, Heavenly and Dr. Simone's relationship, and and they kind of fell out. So I'm going to go ahead and play y'all the clip here real quick, and then we're going to get right into it. No, 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 I'm sorry. I love it. Don't stop. So, so I, I'm just trying to figure out the premise yes. of all of this. Why are you becoming choked up when speaking about Heavenly and your relationship with Heavenly? Where, what's happening there? I had a close relationship with Heavenly, and Jackie knows it. But when I fall down and out with people, I fall hard. And so would you say you hold a little bit of, gr- of a grudge? F*** you, quad. But yeah. Well, bitch, I'm going to say what I said. It's hard. I mean, it's hard. Heavenly to was stuff. really there for you when you were she going really through there. it with Cecil. Really there. So and do you run think away. the two of you can, could get back? You and Heavenly? She went in. I got effort because I have given all I can give. All right, y'all. We don't know what was going on with that audio, but we going to pedal right on through it. So I really want to touch on just kind of what Simone said when she said, when I fall out with people, I fall out hard because I can definitely relate to that. When I fall out with people, I fall out hard and I have the ability to just literally cut a motherfucker off. Like, just, you know, like, I ain't never knew you. Like, we ain't got no history, no nothing. And I really don't know where that comes from. I've been trying to do a little bit of reflection because I do see that's an area of growth for myself. Um, You would think that being able to just cut people off is like a blessing, right? Because a lot of people have the issues with, not being able to cut people off, you know, not being able to walk away from toxic people or from toxic relationships because they just don't have the, I don't know, the ability or the guts to just kind of walk away or cut people off when they need to. But I'm kind of like in the opposite seat. Like I have the ability to just cut you the fuck off, like period. Like I never knew you like we don't got no history like anybody can get it like family friends like I can just cut you off when I feel like it's necessary and I always thought that that was a good thing right that my my block game was strong like period but I've actually come to realize that it's not a good thing you know I had a friend that 
uh, I was really, really close to, and we had a falling out. And I basically, you know, told her, fuck you and don't call me, you know, don't talk to me because I had so much other shit that I was dealing with. And I just felt like, you know, me and this friend, we had never had no falling out. Like we had never had no disagreement or nothing like that. And I just felt like I couldn't believe that we were disrespecting each other the way we were. And I just had so much other shit going on in my life at the time that I just felt like I don't have time to deal with this, you know, so if you if this is how you come in, then, you know, fuck you ain't got to talk to me no more. And it was it, it, it wasn't a petty situation. You know, I just feel like the way we treated each other wasn't wasn't us. You know what I'm saying? Like we can we, we were sisters. We could talk about that shit. We can have a disagreement and we can have all that. But I took it too far by saying, don't talk to me. I blocked her ass on <laughs> on all the social media platforms platforms and unfriended her and shit like that and it was really it was really a hard like situation because we were so close our kids were close like we had been knowing each other for years and I I cut off all ties you know I am and being who I know she is she's not gonna just you know do too much reaching out like You know, I knew that it was love and all that other shit, but it had got, it's years, okay, years had passed, and we went without really speaking, and, you know, I always carried her in my heart as I felt that she did with me, even though we had had that falling out, and by the time we rekindled things, I felt like we had both kind of moved on with our lives and we had gotten to a point where we really um our our daily routine did not consist of each other anymore you know she had gotten new friends and kind of I've got new friends and our lifestyles have both kind of changed in a way so it was kind of like we were just not at that place and we just could and it just seems like you know even though we're we're in a great place we're in a good place we're just not where we were and it's like damn you know my stubborn ass and her stubborn ass you know we allowed way too much time to go by on something that we could have and should had resolved like way sooner but again I have the ability to just cut people off like and just write them off and that's not necessarily always a good thing it it really truly isn't so I would just encourage anybody out there if you have a friend or a family member or somebody that you really love and you know you had a disagreement or you had a falling out and things are not like the same life is really short yeah in the 316 man there's been a lot of death man there's been a lot of death I see a lot of RIPs and tomorrow is not promised so if you are going through it with somebody or you know you had a falling out you really do care about that person you really do love that person reach out you know, it's it's hard sometimes to reach out and put that pride to the side, but you would hate for something unfortunate to happen and you didn't really get the chance to tell that person, you know, like, hey, I love you. You know, I'm not really mad at you or whatever. If there's a way we can squash this or resolve this, let's resolve it so we can move forward and love one another. That's what it's all about. people. Um my product of the week, product of the week. So if you follow me on Facebook or you follow me on Snapchat or you follow me on IG, then you know that I have been doing three keys um, fitness with um, Brianna Williams. So shout out Brianna Williams. Hey girl. So um, three keys is a, a, a hip hop, Step group here in Wichita, Kansas, uh, a fitness group. Let me not say hip hop step. She she definitely does extreme hip hop step, um, but she also does offers uh, all around like fitness. You know, she has extreme burn, um, and you will like literally sweat your ass off. She has waist wear. And she will kill that core in that midsection and get you right and tight. I am a member of Three Keys Fitness. I have seen results. I have a great time doing it. And the women there 
all women of different colors, shapes, and sizes, ages, all walks of life um, are there, and they have really become like a sisterhood um, and a group of women that just really kind of push each other and try to bring some positivity, you know, to just the world for in, in our little world at, at Three Keys Fitness, you know. I feel like that's a lot of women's sanctuary. They 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 work, you know, they have children, they have businesses. And if for that hour or two that you're there at Three Keys, it's just like, you know, we kind of put it all out there and it's it's a great environment. I am doing that as a product of the week of the week because I would highly recommend it's not just for women. Um man can definitely join too. Uh, men step actually the owner uh, Phil is uh, a guy and just a little background about Phil um, he is a certified personal trainer former bodybuilder and fitness enthusiast um, he is currently the owner of naturally gifted fitness center which is the largest privately owned gym in Cleveland um, Heights Ohio so shout out to Phil and this thing is really like sweeping the nation so um, I would highly recommend anyone out there listening. Uh, Hip Hop Step is like nationwide. Uh, I know that Phil offers some online. So if you don't have like a Hip Hop Step center like in your city and you're tapped in, but you really want to get involved or just kind of tap in and, and look and see what it's all about, you can do that. Also, Bree Anna Williams uh, here in Wichita, Kansas, she offers a live uh, fitness as well. So you can tap in wherever you're at with her. It's Three Keys Fitness. So three, like the number three, and then Keys, K-E-Y-S, Fitness, F-I-T-N-E-S-S. -S. Look her up on Facebook. You can sign up right there. The link is there. Um, she has great content that she offers. So if you kind of just want to look at some videos and, you know, see if that's something that you can do or something that you're interested in, I would highly, highly, highly recommend. Again, I um, have met my fitness goals and I've been able to really see some results um, since I've been going to the hip hop step with Brie and it's fun. It's positive. It's, it's, it's different. That's what I will say. If you're kind of tired of your daily workout routine, going to the Y or going to Vasa or wherever you get your, you know, your membership at and you're kind of like bored with that routine and you want to mix it up, I would highly recommend just sign up for a class. You don't have to have a membership. You can come to a class, $10, and you can just sign up for a one-day class. There's a beginner class. Shout out my girl, Steph, Steph the Steppa. Okay, she does the beginner class on Wednesday at 5.30. 10 bucks, you guys. You will not be disappointed. Other than that, you guys, this is the show for today. Like to keep it short and sweet. It's just a dose of flavor. That's it. It's just a dose. Make sure you guys follow your girl on IG 316 Flavor. You can make sure you follow us on the Facebook uh, Flavor by Jay Nichelle. And then again, if you're tapped in on YouTube, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm on Podbeam. We're on Spotify. We're trying to get on every platform possible. So just hang in there with me. We're definitely going up. Nothing is coming down. And I'm bringing all that flavor to y'all. All right, y'all, till next week. See you. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Jane and Shell, and you are now tapped into the Get into it. Pendo, kill the beat.